Well, greetings and salutations. This is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, I'm out on my maiden um, camping trip in the new van interior. You might be able to hear the warm air heating running at the moment. It's pretty cold outside, but uh, I'm getting the temperature up in here. But yeah, I'm over here with um, Austin and Damon. Uh, they are both out there, hopefully you can see. Um, I'm actually running a day late. I was actually gonna come here um, yesterday, but uh, my sister is, has come over from Spain, so she's staying with me. So um, I thought I'd just come away for the one night. Um, but uh, it's kind of quite exciting because this is the first time I'm going to um, have camped in the, the new vehicle layout. So I've literally just arrived and uh, just got set up. I uh, had to put the cheese wedges um, under the front wheels this time because uh, we're at Ashen Plains. And I really, really like Ashen Plains. It's a lovely place. got lots of beautiful horses over there um, in the fields. Hopefully you can see them. Um, but uh, Ashen Plains is... It's all, it's all on a bit of a slope, so uh, there's not that many flat and level places. So I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea. Well, it's a bit chilly, but this man is gonna fly his drone. This is the site we're on, by the way. This is, uh, like I say, Ashen Plains. We've got uh, uh, the Austin's van there and Damon's van there, and I've got my little van over there on the little cheese wedges. We've got a little caravan at the top there, a little gypsy caravan thing. And there's the main sort of house, clubhouse thing. It's got all your facilities, you've got showers and your uh, loos and everything. You've got a community room there with a nice wood burning fire, which is nice. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> there goes the dog again. <laughs> It's great when you come out to a place in the middle of nowhere and fly it, isn't it? Without having all the worries of bothering people. And... Coming out the ceiling, that, that oh the yeah. Ceiling, that yeah, the, uh... I know what you mean. There's our little camp. Cool. That's a, that'd make a good little photograph, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, should we stop it and take a photo? Yeah. What's that, Ellie? She's going for it. <laughs> To be fair, I charged them all up, intending to use them. I didn't actually get round to using that. Ah. Uh, I should have done really. What are you doing, Ellie? Look. <laughs> I might have to grab her, right now, Otherwise, she's going to even get cut on it when it lands. <laughs> Ellie, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, good girl. Go. Oh, oh, up you get. Up you get. Come on. That's it. I can't see anything, my hood's gone over my eyes. <laughs> my, I'm about to put my hood up, it's so cold, my fingers are going numb. I think, uh, what, what was the temperature last night? Um, inside Nina, I think it was about five or six degrees when I went to bed, and it was two degrees out, 1.9 degrees out. And then when I woke up this morning, it was, one point something degree inside <laughs> and not outside i think it was oh, so there wasn't degree. much difference between the two and my duvet had ice on it <laughs> i'm no. i'm hoping that's not going to happen to me tonight no nina's yeah. got no heat in there whatsoever to be fair so no. uh, yeah. yeah yeah well i'm I, the thing is once my central heating is kind of like on or off i've tried it on the thermostat but it just keeps going on or it just shuts off yeah um, so I'm not sure I'm going to leave it on to operate on the thermostat. I think I'll just have a blast if it needs it. Um, well, but we'll I'm see. definitely considering a um, <coughs> diesel heater like an Ibis spatula. I mm. think. Yeah. Mm. So I thought about an Ibis spatula, but I'm really nervous about drilling holes in my diesel uh, tank. Right. It'd be cussing me now. Ah, it'd be cussing me now. <laughs> Look, what, it's his old toy. what manner of <laughs> setup is that? That's just that's amazing. What is that? That's a that's his old toy. That's, a, that's another that's his, gimbal. That's, his, that's your old gimbal. Uh, before it? you got your really posh DJI that's one. It, yeah. Wow. So um, you haven't got switched on yet. Yeah. Have you? I so, the, no. so this <laughs> so this is like a a, that's an adapter pret a pretend plate. phone. Yeah. So you can bolt a GoPro on yeah. it. What a great idea. He's balancing still, doesn't it? I have to put another weight on, but yeah. 
Well, I like the the arms, the good idea, I thought. What does the arm do then? You can put a light on the top. Oh, or your phone. Right, yeah. I'll go check. You. What you actually do, Ross, let's move this over a bit. You got too close, because it's leaning that way there. Just adjust that up. Ah, that's it. There oh, you go. Well done. <laughs> so you can tell he's used it before. Yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. Been there, done that. There we go. You might want to come back slightly, so it's just. I'm going to have to put my camera down because my hands are freezing. This gimbal is made of cold metal. This, and this one's made of nice rubber. I got yeah. nice I got <laughs> <plastic> <laughs> rubber eyes. This is freezing cold. Right. I will see you shortly. Right then. It's night time. So let's turn that off. And I'm going to shut the door. My van all steamed up there. But that's on the inside. very cold so I've got my cup and the spoon going to um, make a bit of Austin's hot pot so we're going to go and uh, spend the evening in the clubhouse well say the clubhouse it's still like a communal room um, because I've got a nice um, fireplace there and uh, it's just too cold to stay outside so let's go in here Oh, that's better. Heat. Right. There's Austin's hot pot bubbling away there. Whoops. Um, so that's looking really good. And that's on the, the wood burning stove. Whoops. Doors open again. It's my little chair. So I'm going to, I think we're all going to sit around the wood burning stove tonight. So that'll be fun. Here we go. Who's this? Yay, that's Austin. Hey ho! <laughs> Two fingers. Uh, what's he going for? Cheese? Yep, cheese. Cool. Um, so, <laughs> you're right there, mate. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll tell you what, it's bloody lovely having your bags. Yeah, I know. Here is how cold it is outside, you come here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is nice. You, you sort of get acclimatized. Yeah. Although, saying that, my sister's come over from Spain. She thinks it's like the drinking North Pole. I bet she Because yeah, <laughs> they, they're used to all the heat. <laughs> That's a cracking, I, 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 love, cracking lovely, that is. I love the idea of a, of a wood burner and cooking your tea on it. Know, it nice like as, even if like a, slow, like a slow cooker, Yeah. you know, just chuck a few logs in there. Yeah, and then just leave it. It heats your house and cooks your tea. What more could you want? Yeah. Oh, that stew was absolutely gorgeous. I might, might have to get myself a, a crock pot for the van and do, do something similar. Um, although they do take a lot of fuel to make because they've got to kind of simmer for a long time. But if we come back here again, and we've got the uh, uh, the wood burner, could do it on there. That should be good. Uh, there we go. <laughs> well, just looking outside, you probably you're not going to be able to see a lot, but there's that lovely sound of falling rain. I'm gonna, it's going to rain all night apparently, so going to be treated to the sound of the pitter patter of rain on the roof. Um, which would be really, uh, hopefully, really relaxing. That'd be lovely. <laughs> we um, yeah, still, still got two cars on the road. We're sat in front of the fire, but we're in the building because it's too cold outside. So you can't see anything apart from the fire. So and I can't get too close because it's really fierce. It's really warm. It's lovely. Well, we had a great evening, uh, sat in the little club room there, and uh, now it's kind of sort of time for bed. I'm going to make up my bed and uh, see how uh, we get on with having a, a night's sleep tonight. Now, I just thought I'd show you my bed while it's made up, so you get to kind of see what it's all about. It's a much wider bed than it was before. This is like uh, three foot wide, and uh, it's uh, the... the the one thing that I wanted when I designed the seat box was that I could actually tuck the duvet down the edge of the bed and that's exactly what I've got there. I can tuck it all the way down so it's not actually going to sort of come out in the middle of the night. So hopefully uh, it should be nice and snug in there. And uh, what I've got, I've got the sleeping bag um, opened up. Uh, this is like a, a sleeping bag, a single one opened fully up and then that's just kind of acting like a sheet. 
and that's tucked in underneath uh, the mattress there. So um, I've just left the duvet up there and I can actually feel the heat coming out. So it's all working again now. Um, but I do have a little bit of shuffle room, which I can sort of shuffle along here. Sort of, um, I, can, I sort of have to kneel and shuffle at the same time, uh, but that's absolutely fine. I, I can sort of maneuver like that, no problem. Uh, the bed will actually come out a little bit wider if it needs to, uh, but there's no need for it to. So um, I can show you, it can come even further out. Um, but that's absolutely fine as it is. So, not too bad at all actually. I'm leaning against this pillar thing, it's fine. And uh, so I'm actually gonna sleep in my, in my very first, um, on my very first camping trip in my new bed. And I'm really chuffed with it actually. It's sort of all, um, it's really comfy, got loads of room. And uh, it actually just feels like a proper, a proper decent bed so I'm really hoping I'm going to get a good night's sleep and if I do and it's, it's as comfortable as I'm hoping it's going to be it should mean that I get out a lot more and uh, really kind of enjoy uh, camping a bit more getting out and seeing things so if you can hear right now the rain is absolutely pouring down outside and it's going to be raining for the next it's going to be raining hard for the next four hours I don't know about you but I love the sound of the rain so I'm just going to sit here nice and snug in my little van, um, although I can feel the, the cool air starting to, um, it's starting to get a little bit colder here. Now I don't want to put the central heating on unless I have to, because I've probably only got one more sort of five minute blast before the battery runs out. Uh, so, but that's something I'm going to address and take care of. So it's not going to be a, a regular issue, hopefully. So that's it. I'm going to chill out for the rest of the evening and uh, or for a, probably I don't know, a quarter of an hour or so, maybe maybe half an hour. And uh, I'm going to read my book and then uh, I'm going to try to get a good night's sleep. So wish me luck. Well, good morning. It's just after 10 o'clock, just getting up. So there are two questions. One, did I get a comfortable night? The answer is yes. Two, did I get a good night's sleep? The answer is no. <laughs> um, we had rain and wind like I haven't heard in ages last night and the whole van was rocking and uh, the rain was really loud and I couldn't sleep because it was just too noisy. But the bed was really comfortable. And uh, so we've got a big thumbs up and a big tick for the bed. The bed's fine. Um, did I get a warm night? Yes, I did. Uh, this is a 15 tog duvet that I bought specifically for the van. Um, it's only a basic one, you know, nothing fancy, um, but it was roasty toasty in the duvet. So it was really nice. The atmosphere outside, um, you know, in the van was very, very cold. It went down to I think when I checked, it went down to about five degrees last night um, in the van, so it was very cold. And the problem I had was I couldn't run the central heating because it kept telling me there wasn't enough power in my battery. Um, and it was only on the journey here, I, th I thought I'd charged the battery up on the journey here, and it was only about a minute away from arriving, I realised that my little um, Durite uh, split charger wasn't wasn't on the little light wasn't on so the battery just hasn't had a charge that it needs but it may just be that 85 amp hours isn't enough uh, for the equipment I've got running here I mean if you see this um, I've got two lights on at the moment while I'm in here I'm going to open the curtains in a minute but with just these two lights when I turn on my tap watch how they dim so I'm literally I'm just on my last dregs of battery juice so uh, but I'm going home sort of today so hopefully um, it'll get a bit of a charge because I've changed the fuse um, the uh, the Durite uh, split charger is now working again and uh, I've changed the fuse so hopefully we should be alright and it should get a charge on the way home um, but uh, yeah I'll, I'll look into that I'll, I'll make sure that um, the next time I go away the battery uh, that I have will be adequate Right, uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea, uh, step outside, have a look around. Um, it looks pretty wet and dank out there, um, as you can see. Um, but there again, it is winter, so uh, I'm not really expecting 
summer <laughs> uh, summer weather. Good morning. You all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you sleep all right? I didn't sleep for a week. Eater. The wind was so strong, it kept blowing it out. Oh no. Well, so at least I'm going to have to sort it. At least yours worked. My, oh, no. I'm, I'm on the dregs of battery juice. Oh, my, did it not? Did the van come in? I wondered, we wondered that last night, didn't we? Yeah, mine wouldn't work, so... Uh... Yeah, no, our, our um, boiler thing was the same. Mm. If it dropped below 12 volt, it wouldn't ignite, mm -hmm. it wouldn't switch on. Yeah, this one's ten, it's got a 10 volt limit. I was going down to 10 volts on mine. I'm about 10.3 at the moment, but... That's definitely the battery then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to definitely have to fix that before it's I come not, away next. Yeah, not a happy chap at the moment. So, not really. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> we are up this morning. Well, at least somebody got a good night's sleep. Actually, to be honest, the bed was comfy, but it was the sound of the rain and, and um, it, the I, wind. I said a log. I really? I kept, wait, wait, I kept... Van kept doing this. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh... <laughs> Um, yeah, it was too loud. I, mean, I love the sound of the pit of patter, but not the bang, 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 bang <laughs> on the roof. I was surprised how quiet it was. Really? For me, yeah, I expected it to be louder. But I was like, oh, that's quite nice. I don't know. It's, it's, you know, like if you park under trees. Trees, dunk, and it, yeah, dunk. That's yeah. what I was getting, but I'm not under a tree. I'm like, <laughs> I'm nowhere near trees. Well, I'm, trees are there, but there's, there's no way that the, you know, the, the, the no, rain would right, come yeah. from the trees. But it was like, it was like somebody with a pneumatic drill on my roof last night. Good morning. Good morning. Are you decent? I, am. <laughs> I have been since 8 o'clock this morning, thank you very much. <laughs> About 10 o'clock. Apparently I'm the, I'm the late riser again this time. <laughs> I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I've, yeah. just, I've just had lovely bacon, mushroom, cheese, oh, and sandwich. You're making me hungry now. Mm. Uh, did you sleep all right? Well, was it was, it? you know, I was listening to the rain most of the night and the wind, like the van was going like this. I had exactly the same problem. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't sleep. The bed was comfy. The bed was comfy, yeah. so I give it, a, give it a thumbs up. But the the, the wind, weather. it sounded like somebody was on my roof with a pneumatic drill. Yeah. You were um, so looking forward to listening to the rain. I know. Well. <laughs> the, the rain, not the, the hurricane. So, uh, uh, your plugs, isn't it? Yeah. Wind, at one point, I, I, it just really got up and it was really whistling. I was thinking, are we going to be all right here? Yeah. <laughs> well, my van was doing this, and yeah, that, that was keeping me awake because yeah. you sort of... you. You're sort of wondering, am I, you know, am I... <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Those, those thoughts go yeah, through your mind. Yeah. Is the van going to tip over? They think, hang on a minute, I go around roundabouts at 30 miles an hour. How can the wind push my van over? How many times has a stationary vehicle been upturned by the wind in the UK? Yeah, so my cousin, that did. Did it? Yeah, the Bristol Bathroom Company, when he was working for them, he had a big Luton van, it just went... Oh right! <laughs> Straight off. I, I need an accent on the. So you shouldn't. You shouldn't have told me that. I was thinking never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be paranoid That's now. It, yeah. the... Oh, it's fallen over. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking. Yeah, my fan has just been. That breeze was a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> right, actually, I'm gonna go and make me breakfast. I've got some mushrooms. Um, I think. Eggs, you? <coughs> Sorry. Eggs. Could I? Yeah. That would be lovely. Thing. I don't suppose. Yeah, I, I'm blaming my sister. I'm blaming Paula because um, I, was, I was natter, I was nattering away <laughs> while I was packing, and I forgot to pack a load of things. Have you got any fat? Yeah, I got some coconut oil. That bit, oh, that's really expensive. You got something cheaper, like a bit of butter or something. Do you know B and M do it for one pound forty nine? Really? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. So I've got a bit of cream as well. So I might put that on my mushrooms. Anything else? Um, um, no, that's that's good. I've got egg and mushrooms. And egg and mushrooms would be lovely. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a minute and I'll uh, go make some breakfast. Yep. See you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Food. On itch, come on! I'll come and scratch. Got to scratch it for you. No? Okay.
a bit of an affinity, well I'm saying that it's not an affinity, but I have, a, I have a bit of a love of horses. I don't understand too much about them, but I feel a connection in my soul with horses for some reason. Don't I? Okay. <laughs> but um, if you want to keep a horse in this country, it's a very, very expensive business. Very, very 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 involved. I sort of looked into it at one point and I realized it's uh, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of involvement, a lot of hard work. I don't mind a bit of hard work but uh, it's kind of full-on 24-7 stuff. Looks like this man's going home. <laughs> yeah. Bye, <Oz>. yeah. <laughs> so we get our last bits of video again. Yeah. We're terrible, aren't we? Yeah. We're such camera whores. Nice. I really ought to take this hat off, but it's very warm. I like it. it is, yeah. <laughs> well, it makes my sat my speech sound funny. You might be seeing these hats again one day. Oh yeah, you never know. Oh yes. You never yeah. know. You've got condensation under there. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be dripping. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, right, I'm going to sign off there for a minute and uh, I'll be a different walk at the top in a bit and I'll show you the program. See you later! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I might follow him. Although I'm down to my last battery and I'm on two bars so I may, may have to sign off very quickly uh, because <laughs> I'm, I'm on my third Hero 4 battery now. So uh, they don't. I've been charging them up and leaving them in the bag and it's not good advice apparently. So. Uh, oh well. If he's desperate though, there is one more <laughs> spare one in my pocket. <laughs> Two in mine! <laughs> uh, Take care! Uh, he's doing a cracking job on that van, isn't he? Eh? That van, he's doing a cracking job on that. God, yeah. Yeah, he should be well chuffed with that. He's practically rebuilt the thing from it scratch, hasn't he? It looks new. It does. Yeah, he's done I, it's I amazing. Saw it, probably at it's worse. It was empty inside. There were bits of floor ripped up and stuff. And nothing in the front. He'd ripped all the front out. Yeah. And uh, we actually sat in there. I think and had a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> in this, in this, this husk, That's basically. It, yeah. I know it looks like yeah. that. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, and it, he'll keep that going for years. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, he like he likes the old school stuff where yeah. he's got all the electronics That's running, right. all the engine and everything, which is good. You know, we get an EMP or That's something. It, We're yeah, stuffed. Yeah. He's he's the man that's going to uh, keep going. Keep going, yeah. You can basically yeah. take the battery off that now, and it'll carry on running. Yeah, just diesel. Yeah. Right, we're sat in Damon's van, and I want to show you this really nifty little setup he's got. On the back, behind his cooker, he's got a pull-down white blind that just fits in the recess there, and right here. Is a projector and you can see he's actually projecting a film from his projector how cool is that it means you don't have to have a big tv in your um in your van and the projector runs on batteries as well not like that one. so <laughs> unlike that one yeah <laughs> but um that's a really good idea now I, I was looking inside my van for a space where i could put something like this but i've just got no space to do it so um not that i watch tv when i'm in the van anyway i'd normally watch if i'm going to watch anything it'll be on the phone so but there we go i just thought i'd show you that it's kind of cool so it's been quite um quite an interesting little weekend although i only stayed over one night um well originally i was booked to, to come here for two um but uh, it worked out well in the end because obviously my battery has run out uh, so uh, it would have got a little bit interesting um, but it's been pretty good, hasn't it? I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been great, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Apart from freezing cold the first night yeah. and totally wet the second night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cold and damp. Well, I, I mean, what do you expect when you come camping oh, in the winter? Yeah. That's just kind of, you know, to be expected. 
But um, apart from that, the shakedown on the van's been really good. The van's performed really well. The bed was nice and comfy, even though I didn't get any sleep because of the, the rain and the wind, that was keeping me awake. But it, it was really toasty comfy. Um, so I'm happy about that and I'm not so reluctant to come away um, you know, in the future more often. So that'll be good. So we're just having a final cup of tea uh, before we're both gonna head off in our own uh, different directions. And uh, that'll be it for this little camping trip. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.